Greetings. Today I speak with you from the altar of St. John's on this Wednesday in the fifth week in Lent. Beside me is the familiar cross behind the altar at St. John's. I look forward this Palm Sunday, the beginning of Holy Week, to gather here in person for worship at St. John's once again. During this week, when our focus turns from Lent to Holy Week, we prepare to remember how our Lord was arrested, crucified, and in three days rose again. And to claim anew that promise of eternal life that was given once and for all through our Lord's faithfulness and obedience, even to death on the cross. Some have heard me speak before about that slogan, what would Jesus do? Which brings with it the question, what would Jesus do in this moment? And therefore, what am I called to do in this moment? You have heard me say, that it is important to remember what Jesus did once and for all. And that will be the focus of Holy Week this year as it is each year. It's important to remember what Jesus did. But it's also important to remember what Jesus calls us to do. Listen to the collect for today with ears to hear and discern what Jesus is calling us to do. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, renew in us the gifts of your mercy, increase our faith, strengthen our hope, enlighten our understanding, widen our charity, and make us ready to serve you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. In the readings from Daniel and from John, we hear Jesus in the Gospel of John speak to those who see themselves as sons and daughters of Abraham, as inheritors of a position as God's chosen people, who see themselves as free. And Jesus reminds them, unless you continue to follow in the way that I lead, you will not be free. If you continue in my word, you are truly my disciples and you will know the truth and the truth will make you free. What Jesus is offering is new in one sense, but it is age old in another. Our faith brings right relationship. God's action creates, redeems and sustains our lives. It is only through God's action that we have life, that we have renewed righteousness, and that we have eternal salvation. In Daniel, Nebuchadnezzar, meets three people of God who will not worship the God of Nebuchadnezzar. 
And Nebuchadnezzar has the three placed in a furnace. In that furnace, they move about, continue to live, are unscathed. And through that sign and that witness, Nebuchadnezzar comes to believe in the power of the one God. Faithfulness, even in extraordinarily difficult circumstances, led to a witness that brought others to faith. This particular Holy Week, we remember what Jesus did once and for all, as we always do. And we ask that question, what would Jesus have us do? As we move forward, let's ask the question, how have we answered that call in this past year, an extraordinary year of changes and challenges in the world? But when we look past Easter, at least in the setting where we live and move and exercise our faith, it seems that through vaccines and through the changes and safeguards that we are observing, that we will return to some sense of normalcy. I have often said that in the way of the cross, in death and resurrection, when our lives are raised anew as they will be when we return to worship and return to community, we are given new life. And we have experienced small d death in some ways and loss. But when we are given that new life, we're not called to live our old lives better. That's the message Jesus was trying to get across to the Jews or the leaders of the Jews that he was talking with in John's gospel. But we are called to embrace new life. How, as we look forward, are we to live that new life? It has been given to us. And dare we ask that question, what would Jesus have us do during this time when the decisions that we make in the next few weeks and months will likely define who we are as Christian community for at least a year or perhaps years come. We will establish patterns of living and worship and ministry and fellowship and study. We will sustain some things like live stream. They will become part of our common life. Let us look with wonder and joy at the new possibilities offered during Easter season. But first, let us focus on what Jesus did in the way of the cross during this Holy Week as we pause and observe and remember and with grateful and broken hearts visit the cross once again. For those who wish, join the Zoom meeting this evening at six o'clock as we ask, what would Jesus have us do in this moment? as we look ahead 
to new and renewed life in Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.